Hey, hello, I'm Dr. Jim Anderson, and as you can see, I'm getting ready to go cave diving with some of my friends in Western Australia. You know, when we go cave diving, one of the most important things that we do is we use what's called a dive rope, and we tie the first end of the rope to the beginning of the cable, and then we make sure that we hold on to the second end of the rope so that we never get lost while we're in the deep, dark cave. Oh dear, looks like cave diving isn't one of the skills that I have. But you know that brings up a very interesting question. What are the skills that a product manager needs to have? In fact, what's the number one skill that you'd want a product manager to have? Is it the ability to make decisions under pressure? Is it the ability to lead people? You know, maybe it's just simply having a good vision for your product, maybe having a positive attitude, or maybe it's having some sort of creativity that nobody else has. Hey, look, those are all great skills to have, but they're not the number one skill that a product manager needs to have. Can you guess what it is? Give up? The number one skill that a product manager needs to have is good judgment. The ability to make good decisions is the number one skill that any product manager needs to have because making decisions is such a large part of what we do each and every day. Two well-known business thinkers slash authors also agree with me, Noel Titchy and Warren Bennis. Noel and Warren say that judgment can be broken up into three different sets of skills. Picking who will be on your team, people, picking what challenges you take on, strategy, and picking what to do when tough times hit, crisis decisions. People, people, people. Decisions about which people a product manager is going to interact with and have on his slash her team are the most important decisions that they will ever make. Don't believe me? Then perhaps you'll believe Jack Welch, who said the thing that he failed at the most during his storied career was moving too slowly and making people judgments even when he had all of the data that he needed. Tishy reports that when he's giving speeches, he'll ask the audience what the worst judgment that they ever made was and invariably, about 75% of the people will say that they were about people. If a product manager can get the right people on his or her team, then they will have solved more than half of the problem. Next comes what product strategy a product manager wants to pursue. In our world, more often than not, this comes down to picking what types of customers we want to go after with our products. Our sales teams are all too often filled with salespeople who will happily go after every customer that they can get a meeting with. However, this is a great way to waste time until all of the money is gone. Picking the right customers from the get-go and going after them aggressively is what good product managers make happen. Bad things happen, and a product manager who is ready for them is a product manager who has real-world survival skills. When the whole world seems to have flipped upside down, like when the stock market drops 700 points in a single day, a product manager who can remain calm and still make good decisions is worth his or her weight in gold. Now this ability is probably as much an art as it is a science. However, at the end of the day, it always requires that the product manager know all of the available facts about the situation. To put it simply, the ability to collect the facts is one of the simple secrets behind a product manager's ability to make good judgments. So there we have it. Now you know what the number one skill that a product manager needs to have is. Got a couple questions for you. How good of a job of making judgments do you think you do? Do you feel that people-based decision-making skills are really what you do well? Have you ever made a bad judgment call? And if you did, what was the result of that? If you had to go back and do that over again, what would you do differently the second time? These are the kind of questions that product managers need to ask themselves. If you can ask yourself that, and if you can come up with an answer that makes you a better product manager, then congratulations. You're on your way to becoming an accidentally better product manager. Good luck. You might be asking yourself, where do I go from here? The ability to successfully manage a product is a skill that it takes experience to get good at. If you want your career to take off, 
it sure seems to make sense to invest some time and energy into developing this skill. A great way to start doing this is to sign up for the free The Accidental Product Manager newsletter. This monthly publication is sent to your in-basket and is overflowing with tips and techniques on how you can become a successful product manager whose products are the envy of all other product managers. We'll cover how to segment your customers, determine what kind of product they would be willing to buy, how to get your development team to do what you want them to do, how to work with sales, how to price your product, and hey, who knows, we might even throw in a marketing tip or two. Hey, the newsletter is free, so you can't go wrong there. In, this, in the description for this video, you'll find a link that you can click on. Go ahead, click on it, and you'll be taken to a web page that will let you sign up for the free newsletter. Hey, there's even a free gift in it for you when you do it. Thanks for watching this video. Sign up for the newsletter, and congratulations on starting your journey to accidentally becoming a successful product manager.